Hi friends, I'm Emma and I'm a huge book nerd. I know this video is already pretty late, but I wanted to get one up nonetheless. It is my April TBR video. Um, I'm trying to be a little more lax on myself in April because March I just really barely read anything at all. But it's okay because I was doing other, you know, life stuff. So let's just jump into the books that I am hoping to read in April, but like no pressure on myself. Right. So first for Buzzwordathon, the buzzword for April is anything space related and I really struggled with this because I at the beginning of the year had planned to read Apollo 13 for this but um, I read that uh, as part of my like um, reading books that I hauled in old videos thing so I didn't have that as an option anymore and I literally don't have any other space related books on my shelf. So I chose Soft Science by Franny Choi um, because of the word science in here. It's like vaguely, like extremely vaguely space related in that science and space exploration are very connected. So uh, this is a poetry collection by Franny Choi. Um, I've already read part of this actually. I've sort of been slowly dipping into this whenever I feel like reading poetry, but I've been in a big poetry mood lately, so I feel like I could easily sit down and, and finish this throughout this month. So yes, that is the first book. Uh, then my play that I want to read this month, it's the same one from last month because I didn't read it, Carrying Over Tribes by Nina Rain. This is about a deaf man meeting this woman, Sylvia, who is on the brink of deafness, and um, I'm very excited to read this. I just didn't get to it last month for whatever reason. And then my classic that I want to read this month is The Joy Luck Club. I know on my TBR last month I had Lolita, but I'm just not in the mood for something like that right now. I don't know what the mood for something like that is, but I'm not in it. Um, so. Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan instead. I really, I've been wanting to read this for so long and I don't know why I haven't yet. So this is about four Chinese women who are living in America in 1949. Uh, they live in San Francisco and they begin to meet uh, to play um, mahjong and eat dim sum and just talk. And they talk about, you know, like loss and hope and um, living in in the United States and not there not and not in China anymore and they talk about their daughters who were who were born in America and raised and raised in America um, so yeah I've only I've heard amazing things about this so I'm really curious to read it and then this is another carryover from last month because I do really want to read this it's violent ends by a whole bunch of authors this is the next book from my uh, reading books that I hauled a long time ago series. I just didn't get around to it. I didn't feel like vlogging last month. So hopefully I will find a time when I feel like vlogging this month and I can read this because I think that it would be an interesting thing to vlog about, hopefully. And then I have already started reading this one. I'm a little less than halfway through. It is People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. Um, this was a book of the month club pick a couple months ago. And it's a, it's a thriller about a, an insta mom. There's like someone stalking her, basically, who doesn't think that she deserves the, the, the life that she has because she's, because of her Instagram fame. Yeah, it's just, it's just a thriller. It's not that deep. Um, I've heard terrible things about it, but so far I actually like it fine. I'm not like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, but I like it fine. So we'll see. We'll see how the second half goes, but right now I don't really understand why this has gotten so much hate. And then finally, the last book that I'm hoping to read in April is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. Um, I got this as my book of the month club pick in March, and it just seems really cool. It's, it's interesting because it's two genres that I normally do not go for. It's fantasy and historical fiction. And normally I'm like, especially historical fiction, I'm like, mm -hmm, not so much, except for Kristen Hanna. 
but this just sounds really interesting because it's also kind of like mystery a little bit. Um, it takes place in two time periods, like modern day and the 1800s, I think. And there's this lost, there's this apothecary where this, this woman used to give uh, potions, like poisons to these women who were trying to kill like abusive men in their lives. So it seems really interesting and the cover is just stunning like the back too there's this little like bug oh it's so cute um so very excited to read this we'll see if i get to it in april and those are all of the books that i'm going to make an attempt to read this month um i'll let you know how it goes obviously <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and if you did, please like, subscribe, and leave some comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.